This is discipline three, shot five B. Another draw shot. Um, the one and the three ball are set up where they need to be as uh, specified in the program. And we need use the nine ball as a measurement ball to help me set up the cue ball. So the nine ball is frozen to the long rail. The edge of the nine ball is even with the point of the corner pocket. And I'm going to use my cue stick again, put the cue tip under the cushion, slide the left edge of my shaft up until it touches the nine ball. And then from there, I'll just swing my cue stick over until the shaft here touches the one ball. And just be careful that you're not moving the one or the nine out of place, obviously. And once it's there, you freeze the cue ball to the cue stick and just roll it up until the front edge is even with the diamond line as uh, it's restricted to in the program. So when we get rid of the measurement ball, we can look down the cue ball and one ball. It's so lined up pretty much right at the point of the corner pocket, maybe a little above it. And that's where I like to shoot the shot from. It gives me a little cut angle that's going to bring the natural draw of the cue ball off to so somewhere between the second and third diamonds. Then I won't have to use as much left hand spin to open up the angle to get down to the three ball. So now that I do have a cut angle, uh, instead of aiming full on the one ball, I'm going to aim a half shaft width to the right. So you start full, you move the shaft to half tip width to the right, and that's my aim line. I'm going to use maximum draw, about a half tip of left hand English, uh, again, to help open up the angle when it draws off this. And you're going to use pretty much maximum power as well, since you are drawing the cue ball uh, quite a bit of distance. shot right there. Now, again, in the program, you make the three ball on your first attempt, you get an extra bonus point, but otherwise, you just need to finish in this one by one diamond zone. Uh, much like one of the earlier shots, some people will have problems overdrawing the shot, and they can actually go in and out of the zone. So, if you have a really good draw stroke, that's something that you might want to uh, figure out how to rein in. Otherwise, to make adjustments on this shot, I would just use the cue ball position. Um, from the one ball there, uh, you know, if we pretend the one ball is there, I would move the cue ball left or right, probably again by no more than about a half ball width uh, as you're making adjustments. And the farther uh, or the closer, the farther left or the closer to the short rail you aim it, the more the cue ball is going to come out and go towards the short rail there. So you're going to come a little longer. And, uh, you know, likewise, if you move it farther right or farther away from the short rail, you're going to come in a little bit shorter here. Uh, so you may need to make those adjustments when you get to different tables, depending on how much spin is grabbing or how, uh, how soon the draw is also grabbing off of uh, after contacting the one ball. But other than that, um, you know, the next biggest key is going to be consistency and making sure you can uh, draw it back. You're using the same amount of draw and spin and power each time. Otherwise, you could be all over the table as far as the exact trajectory of the cue ball. So again, the key is gonna be your cue ball position. I like to keep the same aim point, the same draw and the same spin. And your key is just gonna be cue ball position and consistency. And then just make the adjustments as you need to depending on how the table's playing.